In Ezekiel 35, we see a prophecy of judgment pronounced on Mount Seir. Now, Mount Seir is representative of the kingdom of Edom in this era and in this time. And perhaps you know through going through the word of God that Edom, well, they were guilty of injustice and hostile actions toward the people of Israel. And God, listen to me, God, don't, don't miss this. God will always judge sin. So one of the takeaways from today as you read this chapter is let God do that. Don't feel the burden to, to correct every single thing that's ever been done to you that you may perceive to be hostile or wrongdoing against you. You know what Paul would say about that in the book of Romans, chapter 12, reading from the New King James, starting in verse 17. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, he says in verse 19, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Today, learn the lesson from God's word. Let God be God. He's the judge. You and I, how about we do this? As much as depends on us, let's live at peace with all people as much as possible.